Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a bunch of my eyeshadow palettes that fall into what I would consider like a neutral nude category. Uh, a lot of them have very similar colors. Pardon the dust. <laughs> a lot of these have been like stowed away for like a long time. Like, you know when you first get your palette and you're so excited and you might use it for a little while? But then after a while, you're like, ooh, a new one. And you, like, just put it away. Like, a toy. You know what I mean? Like, when you were a kid and you got, like, a new toy. It's the same thing with your makeup. Or at least I think so. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to kind of dust these off. And then we're going to do some swatching and comparisons. I have a bunch here, so I don't know if I'm going to go through all of them. But I definitely want to go through... Well, there's not that many, yet. This is one of the first eyeshadow palettes that I bought, and pardon the dust. I have the Profusion Eyes Pro Eyeshadow Case Natural, and this was valued at $10. I think I got this for at least half the price off, and on the back they show you the colors and the whole spectrum that's inside and it also comes with a makeup brush when i first got this i used let me see which one it was i used the darkest brown when i first started learning how to do my eyebrows i used the darkest brown for them it's a little you know it's very old so it's probably not as pigmented as it used to be but it does have a mirror inside, which is nice, especially for the value of $10. So it comes with a double-ended brush. I think I'm gonna like take this out of here and clean it and use it, because I haven't used this in ages. But for a starter um, eyeshadow kit, it's not that bad. See, like, it's pretty big too. You have all these colors, starting from white, to like a pinkish off-white and then a regular like a like a sport like a shimmery one a matte one and then a shimmery kind of gold and then a matte color and then another shimmer color and then another matte and then a shimmer was that a shimmer and it just like almost alternates all throughout and I did use this brush <laughs> So back in the day when I first got this, I want to say a couple of years ago, and um, so we have the white. It's kind of creamy actually. See? Like for a cheap palette, it does have a good amount of pigment. And let me swatch that for you. It's kind of powdery though. And then, can you see it? Yeah, you can see that. I don't remember it having much fallout, but it does blend pretty smoothly. And even though it's pretty old, it still looks good. <laughs> and then after the white, we have this shade here. Let's see how it looks. It's a lot of colors, so I don't know if I want to go through all of these, but I just want to show you, like, that's the next one. Sorry about the middle finger, I'm not trying to give you that. Flip the bird at you and see it's kind of pink. I don't know if you can tell. But um and so let me show you the one I used to use for my brows. See that's a very brown color. So when my my hair was a little bit lighter, naturally, like it looked pretty good. Now I go darker. Like, I would prefer an almost black or dark brown, deep brown color. This to me is very light, but when you're starting out, it's just good for practice. And let's see, this one's like they're very light. So they're definitely light, but buildable. And I like that because sometimes eyeshadows are too much too pigmented and a lot of fallout and i don't like them when they're like that because so that's this one i think this was the one i got after it sorry that's the washer 
So the first one I got at a drugstore. The next one that I'm going to show you, I bought at Kohl's. It is the Academy of Color Nudes Volume 2 eyeshadow palette. And this one wasn't too much money. It was definitely more than 10 from what I remember. But it wasn't like too much more. This one doesn't have anything much. It doesn't really have anything on the back. But it's a nice rose gold color. It has a mirror. I had a brush, but I probably threw it away. Because knowing me, I dropped it on the floor and I got really grossed out and I threw it away. That was before. So you have a mirror. Sorry, it's like really dirty. And all these colors, which are very similar to this one. It has fewer colors, but it's very similar, see? They're like very similar. We have a little bit more, a little bit more on this one than you do on this one in terms of um, the size of the eyeshadows but you have fewer shades, but these, I remember, from what I remember, were pretty nice. Um, it also has like, this one's not quite, a, this isn't a white white, but it has matte and shimmer colors. It only has a couple shimmery colors though. Actually, not really, I think most of them are. So you have like the brown-ish color. This one might make a decent eyebrow, but it has some shimmer to it. So I don't know if I'd like that for my brows. And then, this one's also pretty old. This one looks like, I don't know, it has a, I don't know if it's because it's old, but this one, yeah, it's very, I mean, it's creamy-ish. But wait, okay, so you'd probably want to go careful with this. Like, it blends nicely, but it's kind of, I don't know. I would probably go easy on it. But this one I've had for like a long time. pretty white but on here it looks off white but on my finger it looks like yeah a little pinky and <laughs> literally a little pinky and this one I can't really see right now oh wait there it is but it's like I don't know if it's because it's old or what but it doesn't really do much and you can't really see that but like on the surface <laughs> I'm like ruining my whole idea. On the surface, they look very similar. So, I mean, they're very similar. Then, oh shoot, did I just break it? It's all right, it's old. No, I didn't. The one I had gotten after that, this was so boring, I'm sorry. After that one, I got the nude rose palette from BH Cosmetics. This one just has the description on the back. No color picture. I kind of like that though. And it's even bigger and it's kind of like rose gold as well. And inside it has a brush, double ended brush. I think I'm gonna hold to this one too. And you have the colors which these are more neutral, I think, lighter. Doesn't really have a, I mean, like that's like a purple brown to me. And then it has a diagram on how to do your makeup, which I don't think I ever took the time to follow. I rarely ever use this one. Um, but you have a day look and a night look. And then let's see what's underneath here. Is there a mirror? Oh yes. It's like a, it's like a number. Color me in by numbers. And then underneath this, I never used it. It is a mirror. There I am. And on the back it shows you the numbers as the number code. There's 12 shades. See it doesn't really have a white white on like the first one. It has like a bone white, you know what I mean? It has these colors. Oh, I ruined it, but it's alright. I'll fix it later. All these colors. These um, are not creamy. They're just chalky. But I would maybe use this. I don't know. It's starting to smell. But I got this a long time ago too. See, it's like a purple color.
Very nude. There's a, yeah, these two are very similar. How about that? You just have more like super light colors in this one and there's 12. Whereas in this one, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colors. And they all come with mirrors. But next I have, and this doesn't come with a mirror, but I have the Morphe 25A palette. I also rarely ever use this one, but I have. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of their brushes. I feel like they're very cheaply made. There's a few brands who, like cosmetics brands, that make makeup and brushes and that are known more for their brushes, let's say, that I think are like really cheap or equally with the brushes and the makeup that when I wash them, they fall apart. And I don't think I'm necessarily handling them a little bit rough. I just think they fall apart and they're very cheap. But this Morphe palette has a lot more than 12 shades in it. There's no mirror though, but it has it's like a combination of the first palettes that I showed you, except there's browns and more oranges and goldish, bronzy colors. It's like a tiger palette. <laughs> Cheetah. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I just lost one for the first time. Let me take a bit back. I don't know. We have all these shades. To me, it's kind of neutral. And then you have a black. You could use this for your eyebrows. I don't think I've ever done it before though. And they are very, let me see. Mor Morphe's is pigmented. This doesn't seem to have a lot of fallout, which is nice. Not the nicest color, but <laughs> there's a number of, they're mostly mattes, I would say. Some shimmers. And they're very light, definitely buildable. Like this is like the first orange one from here. I did this one and I did this one. I'm gonna skip some rows and show you this beautiful color. It's beautiful. The one that broke out. <laughs> See, this one looks a little powdery, but aren't they pretty? And then the shimmery ones aren't as smooth, but I would probably wet these if I was going to use these shimmer colors and wet them. And it would probably blend nicer than just going on with this. Let's see what the black looks like. Yeah, it's Oh, there it is. I had to do it like a bunch of times. So this is the black. I, I don't want to put it on my face, but I feel like this would be too dark for my brows. But I'm sure you could use it. I'm not really good at doing eyeliner yet, so I wouldn't feel comfortable. But maybe if you want to do like a smoky eye look, I don't know. Oops. A lot of browns and like bronzies. To me, it reminds me of a tiger. This one is like kind of funny. I'll, sh I'll show you it. It's very small. And this is the smoky eyeshadow palette from Bang Beauty. Like I'm literally reading it from the back. It's teeny. What is this like a two by two? Either, I think I got this from a friend. Yeah, my friend Terry gave it to me. It has four little eyeshadows in it, which are also like, I want to say the same exact colors from my other palettes, just like in a compact form. You could probably fit this like in your purse, in your jacket. Um, I'll swatch these for you. We have this orangey color, which reminds me of Morphe or any other color that I showed you before. And... They're very chalky. No offense, Terry. They really are. Um, so these are the four colors. I'll go like this. And 
that's Bang Beauty. So if any of you were thinking about getting Bang Beauty, does this help make your decision? I'm gonna show you the one that I'm wearing right now. So this is the one that I'm wearing right now. It is the Smoke Balm with Foil. Volume 4 Foiled Eyeshadow Palette. It's from the Balm Cosmetics. They have all these pretty pinup girls on their, um, their makeup. And on the side here, it shows you the colors with their names. And then you have a bigger diagram of the colors with their names here. And they're called Striking. And then this one in the middle is Luminous. This is Luminous, that's Striking. And this one, the light one, is Smoking. They're very similar to every other palette I showed you five seconds ago and before that. And on the side here, it reminds me of a matchbook because you have this thing going on. And mine looks scratchy like I was trying to light a match. It's so funny. I don't know if they're all like that. And then you take the cover off. And on the back here, they show you how to do different looks. Maybe it's the same look. It's like step by step. One, two, three. I never did this before. Open it up. It does not have a makeup brush, but it does have a mirror. And I like these because they don't have a lot of fallout. Although it is very powdery. I, well, actually, I can see they don't have a lot. This one I would be really careful with. This is the one that I have on my lids. And it does have some fallout. The darkest um, shimmery one is very creamy. just tells you you are dynamite. Alternative Rock Volume 1 Face Palette Hit Song Naughty or Janice Janice Pink Florit Florit I don't know how to pronounce that. It's really cool though. And then on the back, it has a song list. <laughs> it's cute. Based on the colors and the palette. And it says that you can use the three larger ones as a highlighter or eyeshadow, a blush or an eyeshadow, and a bronzer or an eyeshadow. And they're all named for like songs. This one's really fun. And again, like one of those pinup ladies. And then you pull it out and it looks like a record. Isn't this cool? Sorry, I'm like really tired. And then you open it up and it didn't have a makeup brush, but it does have a round mirror, which I think is pretty cool. And down here you have the highlighter, the blush, and the bronzer, which could also be eyeshadows. Like this one I would use in the crease. Not in the crease. Um, underneath my brow. Uh, or a highlighter. And this one actually makes a beautiful highlighter. I put it on a few times recently after I did it the first time and I noticed how pretty it looked. So let me do that for you now. It's so pretty. It has like pink in it. I don't know if you can tell. You just have to blend it out really well. Like right now I didn't do it very well, but because I'm using my finger, but it's blinding. Oh my God.
But it's so pretty. Oh my god, yeah, I love it. Oh, I'm missing. And it, see, it's like pink. Like a pink iridescent kind of thing. Let me match this with the other one. It's okay, I'm not really going out for the rest of the day, and if I do, I don't care. Mm. This one looks almost nicer. But anyway, and then you have these colors, which are kind of similar to the ones we've seen before, but I like this one more. I think they're prettier, and you have a lot of pinks and rose gold shades, and uh, only... One, no, two of them are matte. The brownish one and the off-white one. And then you have, let me just go over this one. This color, which is this one here. It's called Nice Ash. Get your head out of the, gu the gutter. Get your head out of the gutter. And this one's really pretty too. Can you? And I don't know, but you can see them. Aren't they beautiful? I love colors like that. I think they're so nice. The last, but not least, we have the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale Eyeshadow Palette. Which also has a mirror. I never took this off, so it's pretty nice and clean. I'm like the rest of mine. And all these colors, and this one has a black, a dark brown, and a brown. Um, pinkish brownish color, kind of like a bronze brown. Like this is also what I would consider a tiger palette. <laughs> it's funny, tiger cheetah. You know, animal print. They're all named also. This is really nice. The way that they make their um, their makeup. The brand Pretty Vulgar. It's like a storybook. Except you open it up. Oh my god. So we have these guys down here. The black, the dark brown. And the color on my camera, it looks kind of gray. With this grayish color here, it makes it look gray. It is a dark brown. Then we have a chocolate brownie brown, like a mocha chocolate brown. I don't know what you call that. They all have a little glitter in them, although they're supposed to be matte, but they still have glitter in them. And then this one in real life kind of looks purplish to me. It's like pink, purple, gray, something. And then this one, it looks more bronzy in real life, copper. And then... Let me use my cleaner hand. See, this is brown. These don't have a lot of fallout in them at all, from what I could see. <sighs> the shimmery ones, again, I would do lightly and build them up because they come up really heavy, whereas the matte colors or the more matted colors are like, you have to build them up. These are so pretty. Whoa. And that was pretty much all my neutral eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> Please let me know what you think. And if you want to see more, and if you have any ideas, please let me know in the comments below. Oh my god, you caught me shadow-handed. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. And don't forget to enter my giveaway on Instagram. There's 10 items, including a denim jacket from Fashion Nova. No, it is not sponsored. I am voluntarily giving away my stuff to a lucky random winner. You just have to enter. And I wish you all good luck. Thank you again.